Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another video. In today's video, we are going to be doing something I've really never done, and it's an inspired makeup look by or from a music video. So if you guys don't know, Doja Cat released her Say So video, and I remember the first time I heard the song, I was like, wow, like, yes, nostalgic, yes, 70s, 80s, like, it just felt different, and it felt so good. I was like, it, like it's a bop it's it's a bop point blank period dot com like it's just such a good good song and then the video paired perfectly with it it was like 70s disco era she had pastel eyeshadow she had the blonde hair she did the blonde hair in different variations she had the twiggy styled eye makeup with the white and the white waterline the like big bottom lashes and then like kind of like a nude cut crease and then she did like a um like a roller skating type look with the big wanded um blonde hair and then she did like this like pretty lavender look but the look that stood out to me the most was the mint green look when i saw that i was like baby i am about to recreate this look like the entire look in and of itself was just so bomb like look at that like yes body hair makeup everything and this is her makeup artist um Mugo plus I think it's pronounced I'm not sure but look at that like yes like it just went together so well and I was just like I have to do this makeup look I have to, I just have to recreate it so I hope I, I do it justice it's just pretty much a mint look with wing liner i didn't have any mint eyeshadow i actually don't have any pastel eyeshadow and i know pastel has been really big i mean i have pastels on my nails um so i went out and bought the morphe 30 ouch the morphe 35 i it's the ice fantasy palette now this isn't a palette that i would probably think that a lot of people would pick up unless you are into the pastels you know that kind of look that's been coming back but it's a really gorgeous palette um, it has some lavenders, it got a baby blue, the mint green, a lime green, it's got some like pinks and oranges down here. And then down here in this quad, it's like a little darker. You've got a couple of grays, you've got some purples, like different variations of purples. Um, and like a gray purple, you've got a pressed silver glitter. And then like I said, like some lime greens as well as like lighter pastel greens. And then these over here these three right here are like iridescent colors so this one is like an iridescent green this one is an iridescent lavender and this is like a white so let me swatch those three for you um just to show you this is flash freeze that's what flash freeze looks like this one is euphoria so pretty and then this one right here is called um burlent so pretty so those are like the three like iridescent colors and then you've got like i don't know like this uh this is called uh sky high it's like a green oh that's really pretty it looks like a green in the pan but it's really like in person it's like an iridescent like y'all can't see it but in person there's like purple that's a really cool color that's a really cool color I hate that it doesn't show up how it shows up on like on my arm on the camera but there's also a champagne it's called fierce flurry so this is like a champagne color and then of course they have all of the other Ooh, let's see what this one this one's called um starlet let's see what this one's about Ooh, oh oh mom color that's really pretty it's like it's like green but it's Okay, so this is the color that I just swatched right here. It looks like a gray color, but it's like a green. I don't know about y'all, but I'm so excited for this palette. I'm going to do um, a couple more looks with this palette. It's, it's just so pretty. I've just been buying a lot of palettes lately. Um, I still need to do, I know you guys still want to see other looks with my Jaclyn Hill palette. Um, things like that. But I really wanted to do the Say So um inspired look so i'm gonna do pretty much a full face so i hope you guys are ready for that um 
So yeah, if that is something that you're interested in, then please keep on watching. Okay, so I'm going to start with the brows. Um, I think I don't want to do them like too, too, too heavy. Why do I have this like fucking crust in my eye? My goodness. Okay, I think I'm going to use this uh, Benefit Brow Styler. It has a pencil on one side and then it has like this powder on the other side. I think I'm going to use this powder. Okay, I think I'm going to use this powder. It's uh, the shade number five. And I think I'm just gonna lightly like brush this through. I might have to go in towards the front of my brow with the actual pencil, just because she took off like a little extra under here. So I'm um, not the biggest fan of that, but you know, we work with it. So I'm just gonna take my pencil. This is the precisely my brow pencil. And just kind of go on the bottom. Okay, actually, let me. So since I'm wearing blonde hair, I don't want to go too crazy with the brows. Like I don't want to fill them in too, too, too much because um, of the blonde hair. Like, you know, to each its own, if you want to fill in your brows darkly, you can, but I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm going to leave it kind of like this today. And just kind of like feather it in. And of course, I'm just going to brush through everything. I am still going to clean it up with concealer just because it's like my MO. But for the most part, this is what the brows are going to look like. So I'm going to take my ColourPop No Filter Concealer and just go ahead and conceal underneath. And then we're going to get started on the eyeshadow. Okay, so for the eye makeup, I am going to use my ABH eye primer. If I can find it. Okay, found it. <laughs> um, because it's like a white base. So I want to use this for my eyes just to make sure that that color really pops and stands out. And I usually use like a flat synthetic brush just to blend this in. Um, starting the bulk of it on the actual lid and then I blend the rest upward. But I want the color to really stand out and pop. So that is why I use this base um, and you don't have to set this base down. So you could just apply it and then go in with the eyeshadow. It does dry down pretty matte, so should be fine, but that's what I'm going to use. So first I'm going to go in with the shade um, Chill Thrill. It's right here. It's like a matte mint green shade. Um, I think I'm going to take a JH31 brush. And just like apply this into the crease. Should probably do more like a packing motion to start. I've never worked with pastels, so I don't really know how this is going to turn out. I don't know how it's gonna look. I'm not sure, but I love the look so much that I was just like, I have to recreate it kind of thing. Like it was necessary. Definitely helps doing like a padding motion and then like once it's applied you can start to blend it out But I'm just really going over it like till it gets as vibrant as I want it to be so Definitely might take a little while just to Pat this color on Oh, it's looking so pretty already like I just love this color I'm excited to play with this palette, especially as spring is approaching. Daylight Savings is on um, 
Sunday and I'm so excited. It's like 48 degrees outside right now and if you are from the Midwest you know like 48 degrees is pretty much like spring you know and it's sunny um so I was tempted to not wear a jacket out like a light jacket I mean not like a I'm not one of those people those people that like the weather breaks and you come out in shorts and full flops no uh but when the weather broke I was so excited I wanted to like wear like a light jacket but I was like no one like don't get sick wear a good jacket and or wear your winter jacket and just go run your errands but it feels so good out here with daylight savings and i'm just so excited so yeah <laughs> but this color is looking really good no patchiness or anything um i don't think i need to pack on any more i'm just like going over it for added comfort uh, but I'm going to start to lightly blend just the edges like that. And then she did have like a cup crease thing going on. So I'm going to take a little bit more of this eye primer and just do like a half cut crease. And then I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use the shade right next to it. It might be a little too green. So I might end up taking flash freeze. I'm not sure. Let me swatch. They practically look the same. I don't even know which one was which. Okay, I might go with the red. Okay. Let me cut my crease. I'm gonna take Thalia, Thalia, I don't know, Thalia right here. I don't know what the hell kind of name that is, but I'm gonna take that and just put that on the lid as the lid color, and then I'll go back in with the previous color just to kind of blend the outer edge a little bit. So now what's left is eyeliner. I'm going to use my NYC black liner. I'm not sure if this liner is sold anywhere anymore. It's, it's, I think it was discontinued a while back, but, um, I bought it on Amazon, like a three pack or something, or about like three of them on Amazon. And I've just been using those. So I'm not sure if you can still find them on Amazon, but I would definitely look if you're looking for a good matte black liner. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a wing liner. Okay, so for lashes, I am going to put on the More Lashes in the style Spice Girl. And just mainly because they have like a little flare. And I wanted a lash that had like a little, you know, a little swoop. So I am going to do my other eye and then I will be back so we can start on the face. Okay, y'all. So I tried to do me a little makeshift baby hair thing going on. But I don't think I did it like the best because i wasn't able to like actually pluck the hairline because this is a synthetic wig and i guess you just can't so with that being said uh i tried my best but we're about to do our foundation routine and it's pretty much like it's normally been. I'm not actually going to use my milk makeup primer today. This is the blurring stick primer. Um, but my foundation routine has been pretty like stagnant. Like I haven't really changed too much. Like I'll change out um, a primer or a concealer or something like that. But like mainly the 
the foundation. I'm always using my ColourPop foundation because I feel like it just like looks the best on me. And plus B said like that's what I need to use. So I mix 185 with 195 and just go from there. Um, but I'm kind of worried about my blonde hair and how it's going to look like how the face makeup is going to if it's going to get on it I don't know but I have been taking a um, kickboxing class at the YWCA and I have class today and I asked B to go with me because not because I don't want to go by myself because I actually quite enjoyed it going by myself and feeling like I didn't like know anybody and didn't have like anyone like staring me down or anything so but I was like you should come with me like I think you'd enjoy it and like we just haven't been eating the healthiest and we just haven't been the healthiest that we could be so I just felt like it would be like a nice thing for both us to do together so we're going to that tonight and I'm super excited I'm super excited and it's already 2.50 and class starts at 6 so I'm hoping that I can get this video filmed and edited and everything beforehand I doubt that I will I'll probably have to like upload it once I get back but Okay, so I'm going in with my Benefit Cakeless Concealer because it's like my favorite concealer. And this wig is giving me a headache. It's tight on my head. How? I don't even know because I didn't even adjust the strap. But I'm ready to take this baby off. Do you hear me? My poor white shirt. Look at this. I got makeup all over it and everything. And this is the first time I've worn this shirt. And I knew I fucking shouldn't have worn this shirt. Okay, so for setting powder. Um, ooh, if my camera focuses on me. I'm going to use my Pat McGrath Sublime Under Eye Powder in the shade Medium. I've just really taken a liking to this so i'm first going to go in with this and just set everything and make sure everything's nice and set down and then i'm going to go in with my my ColourPop no filter setting powder and just kind of like bake a little bit I did just get a PR package from Laura Mercier and it had their um, brightening powder and I think I might try that next time like with the Pat McGrath powder because I do like a bright under eye powder and that's what I feel like baking gives me so yeah. Now I'm going to go ahead and contour with my Black Radiance Contour Palette. Just warm up the skin, add some dimension. So for blush, I'm going to use my Black Radiance blush in the shade Toasted Almond. Um, just because I wanted to keep like the face kind of pretty neutral. I didn't want anything to really overpower the, the eye makeup. Uh-uh, because who is at my door right now? So that was actually Nana. <laughs> uh, Nana had stopped by. And, oh, I'm using my Dose of Colors Highlighter in mid May just to highlight. She was definitely highlighted in her music video. And 
got to stay highlighted till the goals. Um, but yeah, that was Nana. Ooh, that was a lot over there. Stopping by to tell me that she has high cholesterol and we gotta figure out a high cholesterol diet for her. So. And there are helicopters going, y'all. The weather broke and people are just loving it. I'm not 100% sure if she had eyeshadow on the bottom. I feel like she did. So let me see. Yeah, so I got this <sighs> NYX Faux White Eyeliner. It's in the shade um, Mint Cream. I'm just going to put that in my waterline. Now I'm going to take, I thought I grabbed a pencil brush. All right, I'm gonna take that same color. Um, it's probably not gonna apply as bright because it, it is on a set like concealer. But I might have to get a smaller brush. I need to figure out what color I'm gonna put. I think I'm gonna put brilliant, this white shade right here. I think I'm gonna put this one because the one, the mint, the flash freeze shade is just a little too um, green, I think, for my liking. Now all I have to do is, oh, I'm gonna use the CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow. This is in the shade medium, just to brush through my brow hairs. I really, really, really like this brow gel. It's really nice. All right, I'm gonna pop on my lashes, figure out what shirt I'm gonna wear, and then I will be back for the lips. My hair hurts so bad right now. Like, I'm so ready to take this off my head. Whew. Okay, my head is throbbing so bad from this wig. But you know, we're gonna persevere. We're gonna push through, because we're almost done. I'm gonna line my lips. She did have a nude lip color on in the video, so I'm gonna use my Clean Color Lip Liner. Or, I'm sorry, this is my ColourPop BFF lip liner. Okay, and for lip color, I think I'm going to use my Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics lipstick in Cheeky. Um, I do have the Desi Katie More Creamer, please, but... I think I'm gonna go more, or maybe I'll mix, I don't know. Oops, wrong cap. Okay, maybe I'll put a little bit of more creamer, please. I'm not sure if she had gloss glossy lips I can't remember let's see it looks like she did so I'm gonna just put Colourpop's ultra glossy lip color in Fantasia over the top this doesn't add too much color but it does give a light gloss okay you guys so this is the finished look I didn't have a top like her she had a see-through like netting like fish netting shirt and I don't have that so I just made it work I just put on this black 
shirt and I think it looks good. I think I did it. It looks so cute. I love this look. The wig didn't turn out to be too atrocious. I mean, the baby hairs are kind of fucked up, but you know what? We don't care. So, yeah. I hope I did Miss Doja Cat justice. Absolutely love it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe before you go. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm going to work this wig off because my hair hurts so bad. Bye, y'all. <laughs> Stream say so.